Today I'm going to be talking about mixing. I see there's a lot of things going on with the mixing that's kind of crazy. People don't understand the uh, mixing. I'm going to show you how I mix. It's not for everybody, but this is what I do. Reason is very powerful, so I don't mix with none of those, uh, none of that stuff on it yet. No effects, no none of that. I just throw mixing from scratch. Remember, Reason, before all of these what bells and whistles, was just a regular board. And that's still how I treat it. So I don't get it all confused and have a whole bunch of noise and things going on. So understand that reason is powerful. Start your uh, mixing off at zero dB all the way across. You see everything's at zero dB. Mix your music into the zero dB. Don't be all crazy with it. You're going to start with the drums first. <clears throat> I already separated the drums. So you're going to start with the kick. First. Actually, I didn't. Let me take that out. All right, there you go. So now you see how that drum is. The boom sounds kind of loud there. I don't want it to be that loud. So what you gotta do is mix into the zero dBs. Don't leave it that way. I don't know why people want it that loud. It's hard to control the music when it's so loud. And you just be sitting there with a headache. Turn that thing down so There you go. I like to get it to around 10. And that's my little point, my point right there. To me, that's, that's easy for me to uh, understand how to mix it right the way I want to. Then you come with this, the clap. The clap is just a little below 10. All this is for control. The hi-hat. Screaming too much, but I want you to hear it. The drum is still a little bit louder. Turn it down just a little bit. Again, this is my way of mixing. I don't tell everybody to do it this way, but this is how I get it done. Nice and easy and fast with a good sound. You know, I have little percussions right here. too about the um, this is what I do like I said I do this I don't know I see a lot of tutorials that tell you to do it this way that way this way this is what I do to help me out now once you get the mix right the mix is sounding tight everything's sounding nice and it's on volume and level so it's not too noisy now we go to space and there's levels with this now you want to space the music so now my drums, they need its own space. Everything needs their own space. I don't think people understand that. It helps out so much when you're mixing or rapping on this. 
everything needs its own space. So now we're going to give the drumming space. And you do that by clicking over here, going to the equalizer and reason, the spectrum equalizer. Spectrum is the space. It's like a, if you consider it a circle, this is like a circle and everything needs its own space. So now we're going to start with the drums, giving the drums its space. See how that drum is all, it has no, it's just free. It's doing whatever it wants. It's all in its own space. The drum is over here in the bass, but why is it over here too? So you want to make sure you put the low pass filter on, give it a space over here, and let it stay in its space. It don't need to be going all over there. If you want to, you can cheat a little bit. I do it sometimes. Even when I put on the EQ on like this, sometimes I want the drum to kick, so I'll give it a little bit, I'll put a little bit more space in it, and then I'll go like this and just give it a little, a little up right there so it can kick a little bit, so it's have its own space. Next, we're going to go to the snare. The snare needs its own space as well. That's why it's good to separate your drums. Now, look at the snare. It's like all over the place. It's in here too. It's in, it's in the drum space. So you're gonna take it out of the drum space. And where the snare starts at, it starts like right there. Now what I mean by own space, look at the drums. See the drums is here, the snares is there. It's in its own space, the drums is in its own space. Now we're gonna come over to the hi-hats. See the hi-hat, it's all free, all this space, musical space, and it's just too much. You don't need all that open like that. So take the hi all that extra space out of there and keep the hi-hats in its own place. See, now look, drums have its own space, claps has its own space, hi-hats have its own space. So we come over to the percussions. Go here. Ooh. So we're gonna come over here. High pass filter. Low pass filter. Now you see the drums have this space. Clap have this space. High hats have this space. Notice that this is not every every time I touch each of them, this is in its own space. It's right here. The drums is right here. Claps is right here. This is right here. Perks is right here. Now we go to the music. Now we have this bass. It's a rule of thumb saying that the bass should be at 80 hertz. I do it all the time because it keeps it cool. Because right now, the drums and the bass are sharing this space. I don't want that. So I come over here. Get the bass its own space. All this right here, you don't need to be out there. Let the bass stay in its own space right there. You can give it a little bit more room if you want, but it's in its own space. And you see how the drum, because the drum has a bass in it, now the bass has a bass in it. They're not messing with each other. Then we go over to this sound. See, that's over here. You got a little bass in it too. But mainly it's right here. space up here this is how you divide the space now right now everything's playing in the center so now 
to give everything their own space. Pan. This is the base. Most of the time I put the base just a little bit to the side. I don't really, sometimes I leave it in the center, sometimes I don't, depends on what I'm doing. But I'm just gonna show you, like, give it its own space. So I put it, you see, it says pan 11. You see all of this, all of these, all of the spaces over here is where you can direct the music to. So I'm just gonna pan it to the, to the, uh, I think that's the left, yeah, it's to the left, 11. The horns, I want it to have its own space, so I might pan it this way, 49. The, the um, glass organ, I'm gonna pan it this way. So now, everything is really getting its own space. The drums, I kind of leave to the top. Sometimes if I the hi-hat is getting on my nerves, I put it like this, so you don't, you know, it's not tall and, you know, I don't even need that to be like so, uh, you know, direct. And even the kongs too, I mean, the um, percussions. So I could put that over here, because I got, I did this at 49, I did this at 42, I did this at 11, I did this at 53. I moved the per percussions in this way to 11. Now, everything is in its own space at a nice level. Sounds good without any effects or nothing. That'll be a whole nother tutorial how I do that, but to get the first part of the mix, there's levels to it. If you don't do these things and you don't know how to do this, you're gonna always come out with a crazy mix. Everything, everything you know about all these machines and doing all of this first, it, it really confuses you. I don't know why all those tutorials, that's why everybody be like, I don't like reason, I don't like the sound, because you can't, man, if you don't know how to manage the sound, then you ain't gonna like the sound. I don't have them issues because I go back to the old school way, where you just mix the music down. When we didn't have, reason we first started, we only had that little small board. We didn't have all these bells and whistles. Bring it back to the old school without you just mix it down for the music only, not the bells and the whistles and this plugging and that plugging and this VST and all that. I mean, you'll, you'll sit there all day till your eyes be hurting and your ears be hurting and you come up with nothing. This way, you know your mix is coming out right. Everything is at its, at its own space. show you again how I start doing everything else but this is the first beginning part of mixing before you start adding all those bells and whistles and then really uh just distorting the music because reason is powerful and sometimes all those those uh things that you put on the on it it just makes it go crazy so that's it for now this is mixing and spacing your music simple and easy tutorial it's not that complicated don't bash your brain in doing all of this nonsense and then want to bash reason because you don't know how to mix. Simple and plain. Follow the next one. All right, peace, reason heads. Hope you learned something from this. One. Locks music. music.